Hey everybody, this is Dev Biker, and we're going to be talking about uh, how to configure lighting in IQ uh, for users coming over to IQ from Link. Now this is really one of the most exciting things uh, that they have in IQ. Uh, there is just so much uh, that we can now do with the lighting. So the intent of this video is to get you started to help you understand kind of how the lighting works. Um, it is not meant to be an end-all be-all of all of the different things that you can do with the lighting in IQ. And as we get into that, you'll see why. Um, the lighting configuration and what you can do with lighting in IQ is just mind-boggling and uh, light years ahead of what we could do with Link. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to go in and actually look at the lighting channels for my Commander Pro. Um, now my Commander Pro has two lighting channels. Uh, so we've seen the lighting setup. Uh, just like in Link, for the lighting setup, you want to configure what is on those lighting channels. Um, in this case, I have uh, two LL fan hubs, one with four fans and one with three fans. So let's go ahead and see what we can do now in the different lighting channels. So here we go. We are in the uh, first channel. So this is my, my four fan lighting channel. And you can see that I have one uh, lighting effect enabled. And this is spiral rainbow and it's marked lighting link. So what is that? Well, this is one of the really, really, really cool things about IQ. And that is in our predefined um, color options, we have uh, this section called Lighting Link. And when we do something in Lighting Link, so in this case, um, I'm going to go ahead and do, say, Rainbow Wave. What it does is it actually applies to all of your lighting channels. All right, so if I go into lighting channel 2, you'll see that's now rainbow wave. If I come in to my node pro and take a look, this is now rainbow wave. Right? So lighting link it gives you the ability to synchronize the effects across all of your devices. Now, for those of you that have some of the outside the box devices, um, such as the headsets, the keyboards, the mice, uh, all those other things, the peripherals that Corsair provides, um, it will, the Lighting Link will impact those too. Um, but for those of us that just have a whole bunch of stuff inside the fan, um, this Lighting Link and this ability to synchronize across all of our devices. Um, and all of the RGB that we have inside the case is pretty huge and something that has certainly been much requested um, by users. So that's Lighting Link. Let's, let's go in though and, and let's come back and see what some of the other things that we can do. Now you'll notice here in the Lighting Channel, right, I have this plus sign. So this means I can add additional effects in. Uh, so that will include, uh, let me come in here and let me add a visor effect. Um, and I'm going to say alternate this between uh, red and blue. Right? And so if you watch the screen, you'll actually see uh, very quickly, and let me slow it down so it's maybe a little bit noticeable, more noticeable. You'll see that we have this visor effect actually applying over top of the rainbow. So when you look in your lighting channels, the order in which you apply the lighting effects actually matters. And it works from, from um, uh, the bottom up, right? So if you want to provide, say, a baseline of white and then have effects happening on top of that, you would do white and then you would build on top of it, build on top of it, build on top of it. Um, if a particular lighting effect doesn't affect a channel or doesn't affect a particular light, then it won't apply and the lower levels will shine through. 
it's very very powerful and it allows you to do some really amazing things now the other thing that you can do though is above and beyond that you can add effects and only apply them to specific lights in the fans so I'm going to go ahead and delete this visor effect that I just put in and in my lighting channel I'm going to add uh, in this case I'm going to come in and I'm going to select a static color and you'll notice right now it has white across the board and that's not what I want what I want to do is just have white in the center and as soon as I do that it's only applying to those uh, to the center lights on that particular fan and I can do this with any one individual fan just by dragging and highlighting those lights if I want to add multiple lights in I hit control and drag and cover those lights and now what I've done is I've said I want all of the middle to be white and I want the outside of my LL fan to actually apply the rainbow effect so this gives us again one of those things that folks have been asking for for a long time and the ability to independently control the inner loop versus the outer loop well you can go a bit more than that you're not just controlling the inner loop versus the outer loop you have control over the individual RGB LEDs um, at, at, at a very specific effect level. Now if you come in here and you take a look at all of the different effects, the predefined effects will apply to one channel and selected lights. Um, the custom effects will give you the ability to customize them. So we've got static color, solid, gradient, uh, wave, and ripple. And so that allows you to do some of the different custom effects. Like I said, we're not getting into the details of all that. Uh, I'll leave that to you to explore. And then on the far right side, um, we've got all of the lighting link effects that are maybe similar conceptually to, to the channel effects that we had in link. But instead of just applying to a single lighting channel, they apply to all of the lighting on the system. Uh, which is just absolute that's really really cool and so it allows you to synchronize those effects and have them apply to all the different um, RGB devices uh, that are that are in the system and then you can come in and individually override uh, specific things so the same is true for uh, the individual um, RGB strips so you notice here I've got rainbow wave on the RGB strips I can come in and uh, in this case I've got a static color of white that I want to apply to only two specific strips and you'll see that as I move this around right when the white is on the bottom the lighting link for the rainbow kind of hides it because it, it goes over it if I move it to the top it goes ahead and applies it only to those two fans now in some cases you can also apply an opacity which means a little bit of the underlying effect will shine through but not the full effect right so in this case if I do like a about a 50% opacity it's primarily white with just this little bit of tinge of rainbow um, so that's some of the other stuff that we can do if we want um, to get really crazy. Now, you can stack um, as many of these on top of each other uh, as, as you would like um, and as much as makes sense. To give you an idea, when, when we were doing testing, I created a profile with some uh, 200 visor lighting link um, uh, 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 effects applied on on really all of the channels in my system it was really kind of crazy um, and I mean may not have been kind of a, a look or an effect we were looking for because it was really just for testing purposes I don't know why you'd actually do that um, but link 
but IQ actually handled it remarkably well. I was surprised at what the how how well the performance handled and and what it looked like. It really looked kind of crazy. Um, wasn't uh, an effect I would want to do um, uh, for for a daily basis, but it worked quite well. Um, and and IQ handled it just fine. Um, so I certainly encourage you to spend some time and explore some of the crazy things that you can do uh, with lighting. Um, if you have certain predefined effects uh, that you like, that you want to use a lot, so um, for example, um, this one right here, I have this static color. I'm going to call this um, all white, right? And you want to save it. You have a lightings library where you can actually drag stuff into the lightings library. And this makes it easier for you to, say, configure a, a custom effect that has particular settings, and then you can just drag it and reuse it in other lighting channels without having uh, to go in and reconfigure the same thing multiple times. Uh, so it makes uh, those kinds of things a lot simpler to do. So with that, uh, thanks for joining me for this really quick, uh, really high level, really light overview of what you can do with, uh, with configuring the RGB lighting in, in IQ. It is really just light years ahead of what we were able to do um, in, in Link. And I think, I think y'all are, are really going to get a kick out of it. And I'm certainly looking forward to seeing all the different effects uh, that, the, that the community can come up with um, as, as, as you get your hands on this. Thanks for joining me. This is Dev Biker. Uh, until next time.